Hello, and thank you for joining this quick video where we'll talk about the differences between the various unsubscribe operations a contact can make in your Marketing Cloud account. These terms can cause confusion, so we'll see if we can make them a bit clearer. We'll discuss these from least impactful to most impactful and talk about how that subscriber can opt in again should they choose. The four main types of unsubscribe are list level, account level, master unsubscribe, and a global unsubscribe. The lowest level of unsubscribe is a list unsubscribe. If a subscriber no longer wants to get email relating to a particular list in your account, they can just opt out of that list, but will receive email from other lists in the same account. If they decide to opt in again, this is as easy as visiting the subscription center and choosing that list again. They can also be opted in via API call or list import. The next level up is an account unsubscribe. Let's say your marketing cloud account has an enterprise account and four business units. One of those business units is for a division of the company that sells cameras and another business unit sells computers. A subscriber can choose to no longer receive any email from the camera business unit, but continue to receive email from the computer unit. They can perform an account level opt out and will be removed from all mailings in that account. They will continue receiving mail from the other accounts and will receive transactional email from that account that they have opted out of, but will receive no commercial email from it. To opt back in, they can simply go to the subscription center and join back up for the list they want or choose to receive all email again. They can also be opted in via API call or import. Moving up another level, we have is what is called a master unsubscribe. Someone can choose to opt out of all emails from your company. They would show up as unsubscribed in the all subscribers list in your enterprise level account. They will receive no commercial email from any of your business units. They would continue to receive email marked as transactional, however. As before, opting in can be done via the subscription center, via API call, or via import. The final level is more drastic. If a subscriber sends an email to our abuse at email address and asks to not receive any more email from us, this is called a global unsubscribe. In this case, that customer will receive no email of any kind from any marketing cloud account, including yours. This includes transactional emails. Nothing will be sent to them from the marketing cloud. You can't see this list, so in some cases may not know why a single subscriber didn't get an email. There is nothing you can do from your side to opt this person into any of your lists or accounts. The only way they can get opted back in is by once again emailing our abuse email address and asking to have the restrictions lifted. I hope this has helped clear up the differences between the various opt-out methods a subscriber can use and how they affect your processes. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce help portal where you can find great resources including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact support. Thank you for watching.